looking clean, looking clean. I'm trying, man. I'm you trying. looking clean, looking like you were weighing. Looking like, <laughs> looking like Keenan. Cleaning out every weighing. That's a hair job, didn't it? <laughs> no, you just, oh, okay. y'all look alike. Well, you look like Damon and Keenan got smushed together <laughs> and then put in a suit. Um, so let me ask you a question. Uh, what do you think of the whole Ja Morant thing? Well, <laughs> I had two thoughts when I saw the last video right. with him at the strip club. Thought number one, they supposed to be taking their shirts off. <laughs> All right, that is like, do you flip your own burgers at McDonald's? Like when you go to the strip club and you take your clothes off, you're doing this backwards. And then there's the other part that he's in there with a gun. And honestly, I thought that gun was too small to even like rightly pistol whip somebody. <laughs> I, I thought didn't... it was a chain. I thought... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see... But no, I think that there's a level of this though that's kind of encouraging where people like me who are in the media see him and like with Alan Iverson, we would have slammed it, right? Like, the right. world would have just come down on him. Right. I look at this with just a lot more concern, right? Like, I see a dude who is acting out, and you and I both know, man, showing people guns, that makes other people show you guns. Right. Except not the side part. Right. You know, the part that look at you. Right. And so, it ain't, it's not about judging him for me as much as, I hope he gets himself right, because it's clear that he's not. But I think when you give these guys this much money, you're that young. Like, if I had like a hundred mil that young, I'd be in a strip club with a gun. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I mean, you know, the first part, I get that. If I got that much money, I ain't going nowhere where I think oh, I need a gun. Oh, the strip club's coming to me. We gonna be in my house. Like, any, anytime I see somebody with a gun, I'm like, maybe you just shouldn't go there. <laughs> like, if I think I might need to shoot somebody where I am, right. I probably just shouldn't go there. Right. Um, okay, so you saw the tweet that LeBron did uh, about his son, Bronny. Uh, last night he tweeted, uh, and I want to quote this right, definitely better than, he said that his son, Bronny, was definitely better than some of these cats I've been watching in the, uh, on the league pass today. Do you think Bronny has what it takes? So I looked at what time LeBron sent that tweet. <laughs> it was roughly midnight Eastern. There were two games on. And all those teams have better records than the Lakers. So, oh, 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 oh shots fired! Shots is fired! No, my, my, my only point is, if Bronny's better than them, then bring your son to work day, bring him out here, <laughs> and you can find out. Right. Un, uh, un, unfortunately for the young man, he would learn some very hard lessons that day. And that's the thing, man. You, I feel like he's putting a bullseye on his son's back. Because getting to the NBA is hard. Right. Really, really hard. If he gets there at all, that is a victory. But if he gets there and his name is LeBron James Jr., man, everybody going to try to get famous off of him. Like, right. if I was LeBron, I'd kind of be like, well, you know, he's working very hard. And I'll be proud of him, <laughs> however it ends up. <laughs> like, that's, that's the play you want to make. Right. Um, do you do you think he goes to the Lakers or do you think LeBron's gonna have to go to Cleveland? What do you think of LeBron versus Jordan? That's what I want to. I like sp talking to a sports aficionado. Okay. LeBron versus Jordan. Which one do you? So I'm gonna tell you this. Like 15 years ago, when I really first started doing the sports thing, I was adamant that LeBron James was the best player I had ever seen. Right. And I said this when I was 28, and then I went on YouTube <laughs> and I pulled the Jordan guy up one time. And I've never said that ever again. Like, being number two or number three is really, 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 yeah. really, really, really good, right? But, dude, there's Jordan and there's just everybody else. Like, when The Last Dance came on, I was just like, yes, now the kids can watch this and I never have to talk about this again. Right. Right? Like, like you got it right here. Here is your explanation. <laughs> and it ain't got nothing to do with LeBron. It's just all about that dude. Right. Um, okay. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm not so much a sports fan as I am an anti-sports fan. Like, I'm a hater. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I don't love teams. I hate teams. This <laughs> team's I hate, right? So, um, who do you got going to the finals? Because it, 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 I'm a Laker hater. <laughs> I don't like saying that out loud. Don't tell LeBron and them, because I like going to the games and shit. <laughs> but I'm an I'm a, I'm a official hater. Who do you got going to, the, to the, the finals? I mean, I think I got Milwaukee on one side. And on the West, I don't know who's going, but I want my man Jokic to go. Because right. Jokic looks like, like he just picked up like a piece of bread and went to a personal trainer and was like, this is what I'm going for, right? Like, get you a baguette and be like, yo, make me look like this. And killing everybody, yeah. everybody. I love to see that payoff. Right. Love to see that payoff. Plus, 
We grew up at a time when it was more hard scrabble tales of basketball players, right? right? Like they were sending them off to private school early. Like, you know, some dudes had to come from something. Hey, man, them cats from them countries with all them consonants in them. Yes. <laughs> It's real, dog. Yeah. It reminds me of my youth, not right. my personal youth, because we was doing good. Right. But when I would get on television and watch the basketball players, right. it reminded me of that. So which team do you hate? Come on, it's just me and you here. The world ain't watching. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me who, who you hate. I don't think I got a basketball oh, team that come I on, hate man. right now. It's just now. me and you. Stop this. I know. I'm trying to think. I mean, when I was little, I hated Boston, but, you know, things changed. Yeah, let me, let me I, rephrase I that. When I was little, I hated the Celtics. I'm up in the air on Boston. Right. On the Celtics, <laughs> you know, things changed a little bit. Okay. You or Stephen A. Smith? At what? Who talks more shit? <laughs> oh, Stephen A. You think Stephen A? Stephen A does. I think Stephen A talks a lot of shit, too. <laughs> I like him, but I really think Dan and Thog. Dan and Thog. No, man. No, I don't, don't do that. I, I don't Shannon. understand a word he no, says, no, but no, it no, is no. funny as hell. No, man. It, it, this is why I love Shannon. I love Shannon because dudes from the country shouldn't have to change how they talk no, to make y'all feel man. good. I and love, that's why I love him so much. I love when he, like, he sit there with Skip, like, Skip, I'm going to have me a black and mild. I'm going to have me some yak. You shut the f up and do what you gonna do. I love, I love me some shit. I like when he was screaming at John Morant and his father. I'll f*** y'all up. You won't f*** with me. And, and let's be clear. He would have. Not, like, them first two or three people didn't want it. When uh, Steven Adams came over there with his gold tooth, True. I think all of a sudden, Shannon Sharp had a different tone. But them first three dudes? Oh, no, 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 no. no. But... He did kind of cower when Ja pulled that little gun out on him. <laughs> Let me tell you, as, <laughs> pew, pew. As, as country as Shannon Sharp is, you ain't going to pull no little gun on him and get no reaction. <laughs> like, you don't come from the backwoods to get scared off by 380. That ain't how it works. Uh, um, okay, Floyd or Ali? As my brother, who is much larger than me, used to tell me when I was little, they make weight classes for a reason. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I want them to fight. Oh. I'm, I'm oh. saying, but who, in terms of greatness, which one do you think is great? I mean, you got to go with Ali. And it's, it is, it's, but it's, it's a weird thing, though, because you kind of got to go with Ali because he lost before. Like, Floyd never right. took a fight that we ever thought. I don't know. I think he might, you know, the only time anybody thought he was going to lose a fight is when he fought Ricky Hatton because white people be wishing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that was that was the only one. They're like, maybe this time, maybe this one. Like, people forgot the whole Revolutionary War and were acting like Ricky Hatton was from Wichita, Kansas, right? Like, no, we supposed to have beef with them. They're like, no, but we have beef with them. All right, so your, your interview with Jake Paul went viral last <laughs> month. Uh, you roasted him, and, and then he lost his fight. Did, 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 did that make you happy? Was, be, was that be, a hateful prayer you put out in the I'll universe? I'll be honest, Seth. I didn't want to watch the fight because I didn't want to watch him fight. Like, he's not actually a fighter. But he told us, because I asked him, because he, he, he fancies himself as a boxing promoter, like a businessman. So I'm like, what happens if you lose? Because I'm thinking about the money of it. And he's right. like, well, I don't have a loser mentality. That seems to be how you live life. And I'm like, dude, I'm 42 years old. Like, you're not going nanny nanny boo boo me into this. But then you I'm sure you're 42? I am 42. Nanny nanny boo boo. I thought you were 72. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's I know, my grandfather was sitting here for a second. I said, oh. <laughs> but I tell you this, when I found out Jake Paul had a rematch clause, I was like, oh, who the loser now, dog? It seems Ooh. like it seems like it seems like you had a plan just in case you got your ass whooped, which by the way is a generally good idea. Right. You just ain't got to lie about it. Right. You think he'll whoop your ass? <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a dilemma. Because <laughs> on, on, on one hand, there are weight classes for a reason. <laughs> on the other hand, I am 42 years old. Yes. I can't lose no fight to Jake Paul. Right. right? Why? Because I can't. Like, I, I can't go. I don't have kids, so I don't have it with them where, like, you can't beat me. But if Jake Paul beats me up in public, one of us at some point is going to have to die. <laughs> There's no other option. <laughs> You're going to be like, uh, John Morant, can I use your little gun? <laughs> <laughs> All right. New episodes of Game Theory with my man Bobani Jones airs Friday nights on HBO and HBO Max.